take you to Parliament because the majority side over there has been justifying the increment in passport fees. Remember, effective the 1st of April 2024, the prices for passports have gone up. The chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of Parliament has been speaking on the matter. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration announced upward adjustments in its fees and charges for services effective Monday, April 1, 2024. The ministry, in a statement, clarified that this decision aligns with the 2023 Fees and Charges Regulations, LI2481, the processing fee for an expedited 48-page passport now cost 800 Ghana cities, while 32-page application is 700 Ghana cities. Standard application for 32-page cost 500 Ghana cities, while a standard application for a 48-page passport cost 644 Ghana city. The move has generated public outcry as applicants are worried about the prevailing economic conditions in the country, advocating for a decrease in prices. Amidst these concerns, the majority in Parliament says the increase is in order. Passports are never now the only or the requisite means of proving your identity. So now, uh, having come to this realization, Passports now are only just a means of travel. So we all also agree that it is only about 20% of Ghanaians that need passports to travel outside the country, only 20% of Ghanaians. And therefore, looking at it from that context, passports then become a privilege, not a right or need. So if it is a privilege, uh, who should bear the cost of passports. In the past, because of this realization that it was also a means of identification, governments have had to um, subsidize passports which have a cost element of 400 Ghana cities by 300 Ghana cities. We realize that uh, this subsidy is from the coffers of Ghana as a country. And indeed, it is our own money. All of us contribute to that kitty to uh, underwrite that part of cost. Indeed, how fair would it be for only 20% of us to surcharge all of us the 80% for that which they want for their purpose of travel? It is not fair. Indeed, there are countries that are charging uh, even $200, 150 within the sub-region for the same passport. And indeed, some of them even taking passports that only span for five years. We want fairness to prevail. Uh, me and you, sitting down here, we may not have any desire to travel. Why is it that I should rather uh, sponsor somebody who wants to travel? And these people are in the minority. And I think for fairness to prevail, let them handle their budget whilst we keep our monies for other purposes. The caucus says the approval of the increase in passport application fees was a unanimous decision by Parliament. For anybody to step out to say that they vehemently opposed the review of the fee, it's uh, neither here nor there. Uh, the person who is throwing those tantrums is not a member of that committee. And indeed, it was not the work of the Foreign Affairs Committee, which I chair, which he is a ranking. So this is the work of the Subsidiary Legislation Committee, and indeed chaired by the I, uh, NDC uh, Member of Parliament. So it never occurred in the committee meeting that there was protestation as to the recommendation for review. So it was a unanimous decision taken by the committee. So we brought our report to the House, and the report is public document, which any one of you can have access to. And the report was adopted by the plenary of the total parliament. And therefore, uh, they, we made a recommendation that it, it, it must pass under LI 
2481, which is uh, the fees and charges uh, uh, legislation. Amidst the uproar over the increase in passport application fees, the majority in Parliament believes it is a justifiable move that would help in addressing challenges associated with the acquisition of passports in the country. Reporting from Parliament for City News, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain.